going to do is build the axle first, and uh, this is going to hold your uh, hydraulic fluid too. This tube is 36 inches long, 3 inches wide, and uh, 6 inches tall, and it's probably 5, eh, maybe a little under a quarter inch in thickness. Uh, so what we're going to do, we need to box the ends in, so I, I've got some plate that we're going to put on that. And I'm going to go ahead and run this up, I'll tack it solid, and I'll cut this off with my torch, and I'm going to grind it up, and I'll give you another shot at the ends of that. But this will be the first thing that we're going to do. Okay, just to show you how I got this set up, I took a 36 inch uh, long bar that I actually use for making log furniture, and I just capped both the ends of the tube and put the long bar on there and tightened it up, and now I can just uh, weld that up solid. So that, that's gonna, that's how you can set it up. Okay, now we got the uh, the end plates welded on, and we sealed up this box. And I'll just give you a, a just a quick look at uh, some of the weld here. That was done with 6013, and uh, you can just work that rod back and forth, and you can get some pretty good, uh, a lot of meat on it. So that that's that'll hold hydraulic fluid.